Hey tarot friends, it's Dustin from A Modern Metaphysic Man, and today I thought we could hang out and take a trip through the Vibrational Energy Oracle Cards by Debbie A. Anderson. So full disclosure, Debbie contacted me and was curious to see if I would be interesting, interested in looking at or reviewing any of her decks. And I took a look at what she was offering. Um, all of her decks are self-published independent decks. And uh, she has several. She has this deck here. She has uh, a version of this deck that is actually geared towards children. So it's a children's deck. Then she also has two affirmation decks, the Vibrational Energy I Am deck and then the I Am Sacred deck. Both of those decks start with those sort of affirmations, I am sacred blank, or I am blank. Um, and they're both very nice, but I'm not someone who really uses affirmation decks nor am I interested in, in a children's oracle deck. So the one deck I did have her uh, send along to check out was this one. And I have to admit, at first I was a little apprehensive <laughs> um, because it, it did, the box does make it seem a little woo-woo-y, um, but it, it really isn't. And the box, this is one of those don't judge a book by a cover like perfect examples in my opinion. The box is nice. Um, it's not a bad box, it's a nice sturdy box. It doesn't have the thumb cutouts, which I wish it did because it, it does get a little uh, tedious to get the box apart and then if you put them together when they're empty then it's a real pain in the butt. Um, the back of the box does have these three cards shown, which to me is actually a little deceptive because it makes you think that all of the, the cards in the deck have the this like overlaid face sort of motif which isn't true at all actually um and so you know it it would be nice if there was a little bit more variation with these cards that showed some of the other ones that don't have this face but the cards are are really lovely and we'll take a look at it in here in a sec um the back does say the vibrational energy oracle deck is perfect to use when you need direction and guidance use your own vibrational energy as you choose a card that will harmonize the answers you need right now and this beautifully illustrated 52 card deck offers surreal dreamlike images that will resonate positive insights as it guides you along your vibrational day-to-day -day spiritual path. The deck includes an 80 page guidebook. And the art by uh, is done by Heather Brewster. And her artwork is really beautiful. So like I said, it's a nice sturdy uh, two piece box that um, is pretty nice. It's just, you know, a little blank on the inside and it does come with a really nice guidebook that's printed really well um, and it has some really good little tidbits about the cards uh, inside which is nice you get a picture of the card and then you kind of get like a little um, you know a little bit of a, a blurb about them which is really cool there isn't um, there's a little bit of an artist statement in here which I did enjoy so you have a little about the author section and why specifically 52 which is really cool um, which has a lot of like numerological associations and then a little section about the artist um, and yeah so there's yeah the guidebook is, is really wonderful it's really well done um, there's different uh, sort of talks about dimensions in here so the five dimensions um, which I really liked uh, she's also included a few different spreads and a little section of how to read the deck, um, etc., etc. Um, the cards do come in alphabetical order. I don't have them uh, like that, but they're that's that's how they are in the book, which is I love that <laughs> when they when creators put them in alphabetical order because it just makes looking up a card really easily uh, accomplishable. Because there are some oracle decks out there that don't put them in alphabetical order, and then you know, you spend a long time thumbing through the, the book looking for the card that you pulled. So it's a really nice book, really well done. Uh, so let's talk about the cards. So these are the card backs, which is just, it's really beautiful. Um, I love the cool blue. It's really relaxing. The cards themselves are uh, slightly larger, as you can see, than a standard tarot card. So a little bit wider, a little bit taller. This is just a, a card from the RWS. And the cardstock is really nice. It's a nice, thick cardstock. It's really smooth. Um, it's 
it shuffles really well. Um, I've really been enjoying working with it. Now I've worked with this deck for about a week now um, because I really wanted to give an honest you know, review, especially since this was sent to me for free for review. But it, again, it is this is not a sponsored video in any way, shape, or form. You know, when when she offered to send it, I told her I was like, you know, that's the only one I'm interested in, and and just just fair warning, if I don't like it, you know, I I will <laughs> I will be brutally honest in my review. Um, but I was really taken by this deck actually after I, I worked with it, so it was really it was really cool. I really. Uh, it was a it, it's a deck that I wouldn't grab off the shelf if I saw it in a store, but after having worked with it and looking you know looked at the cards now, um, it's definitely a deck I'll recommend to people. So as always, we'll do a nice little flip through of the cards, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about some of the cards that really stand out to me um, and what my thoughts are on working with a deck. So yeah, this is the Vibrational Energy Oracle by Debbie A. Anderson. So that is the Vibrational Energy Oracle. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful deck. The artwork is absolutely gorgeous. It is uh, a collage deck, which 
you know, I mean, collage decks come in two forms, in my opinion. They come in good and bad, and this is a really good one. <laughs> um, and it's just, it's really beautiful. It's really well done. There's some really gorgeous cards. As you can see, you know, those faces that appear on the back uh, of the box do show up in, you know, several of the cards, but it's by no means a major theme through the deck, which is kind of what I meant by it would be nice if there were some different, you know, cards shown on the back because I think this is kind of misleading as to what is actually inside because um, if I were to pick this up in a bookshop somewhere I probably based on this probably wouldn't grab it I would probably go home and look up reviews and stuff like that but um, yeah it's a it's a beautiful deck uh, I used it for clarifications and just for kind of like daily draws and things like that the past week and it was just it was really it was really nice. It does lean towards the positive side of things, right? Um, but, you know, it's 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 really nice. Some of the cards that really stood out to me uh, from working with the deck is the Refuge card. This card gives me a lot of Hermit vibes. Um, and the thing that I like about some of these cards that I'm going to talk about too is that even though the deck does slant towards a very sort of positive... Um, outlook on things there is a recognition of the more negative the darker the shadow side right which is really important to me and i love the fact that things like this are included right um where sometimes you you do need to just sort of seek refuge uh within yourself and, and have that alone time right um i loved this reprogram card the inclusion of some technology i thought was really cool you don't see technology really being included a lot in um in modern decks uh even though technology is such a huge aspect of our everyday lives and i just i really loved the idea of this i loved the combination of the circuit board with the sacred geometry i loved all of the sacred geometry within the deck i mean that is just it's phenomenally amazing um but just just the idea of like reprogramming yourself like we we do get programmed into our habits into our ways of thinking and sometimes it's important to get that push from an outside source whether it be you know spirit through an oracle deck or from a friend to sort of re-look at and re-evaluate your programming the way you look at the world your perspectives things like that so i loved this card when i saw it um, again, the the use, the inclusion of sacred geometry within the deck is really amazing. Um, I love this two faces of mankind card. Just the concept of yin and yang, light and dark. Again, really loved it. The perfect storm card actually came up for me a few times this week, um, and it was just great. And the you know the little blurb in the guidebook was really really wonderful. Um, I love this arid wasteland card. I thought it was just really poignant. Again, uh, you know, talking about um, a little bit more of uh, the shadow side to the deck and some of the, you know, the aspects of life where, you know, as the saying goes, when it rains, it pours. Um, but man, when it's not raining, it, it sure does sometimes feel like an arid wasteland. Homeward Bound, I thought was just really beautiful. Um, and one of my favorite cards that actually didn't come up in any of my readings, but when I saw this, I chuckled and I just loved it so much was the F word. <laughs> um, and the, and it, like, it's one of those cards where I immediately pulled up, um, the guidebook to sort of see what it said. And, it, and I'm going to read it to you because I just loved it. The F word is whatever you see it as at this time. No excuses fixated frustrated fasting fool forgetful fat foreplay frightened fanatic forgotten fugitive you know what your word is in the moment so stop fighting it take your f word and shout it out until the universal vibration is released into the cosmos and move forward with a new word that would create the magnificent flow you desire so obviously when we think about the f word right we all think about the f word but i just thought it was really like obviously you know, that that can be that could be your f word that you just need to get out um and i just love that idea of of you know sometimes we especially in today's day and age we just bottle everything up and sometimes just having a cry 
or going on a hike into the middle of nowhere and screaming at the top of your lungs is the exact release that we need. Um, and I just loved it. So yeah, those are some of my favorite cards. Um, I, I, I really enjoyed working with this deck. Um, I, I think it's definitely sort of a, a flying under the radar deck right now. Um, I really love it. I'll continue to work with it. I'm very thankful for Debbie. Thank you so much for, um, you know, sending this to me to check out. I really appreciate it. Um, and you know, it's, it's just, it's a beautiful deck and it's really well thought out. There's some fun stuff in it. There's a light side and a dark side. It's just really well balanced. The artwork is stunning. I mean, look at this. It's just, it's really well done. Um, definitely will take its place on my my oracle shelf which everyone on my channel knows is is smaller right i have a very small oracle collection because i'm i'm pretty picky about my oracle decks um and yeah i just really loved it so definitely check this one out i will put links to where you can get this in the description box below as always um if you enjoyed the video be sure to like share subscribe all of that fun stuff you can also find all of the links to my social media and to my personal website where you can book a reading with me down in the description box below so be sure to check that out at the end of the video um, let me know in the comments below what you think about this deck i would love to know if you have this deck if you've worked with it um, what you guys thought about it put all that in the comments below i love hearing from all of you and as always, uh, thank you so much for all your love and your support and for coming to hang out with me and look at Tarot and Oracle. I super duper appreciate it so much. And yeah, remember, everyone's fighting a battle that you know nothing about. So be kind, always. Bye, everybody.